All right, Shalom Yasha Allah. Before I begin this lesson, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. Lord willing, it's edifying to you, hopeful elect out there that are diligently seeking the Lord's mercy in these end times. Okay, and Shalom to you, brothers, on the highways and hedges, teaching our people, you know teaching our people in truth and sincerity to make your calling and election sure. Shalom to you. Shalom to the elders and the apostles, chiefly of Great Millstone, where I learned this truth from. They're the real prophets of these end times. And if you listen to them and uh, incline your ear to the words that they speak, which is the words of the Holy Bible, which is the truth, then you do have a good shot at salvation, okay? Shalom to you Aquaf out there in order. Shalom to you Israelites that look like these other nations. But your seed line goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right, this wasn't exactly the lesson I was planning today. I actually um, was trying to prepare another lesson, but I'm actually second guessing it because some of the clips that I was going to use turned out to be um, satire, you know, but they acted it pretty well. And had me fooled for a minute, so I'm I'm actually thinking of retracting that um that lesson due to those clips that I was gonna focus on. But nevertheless, you know the spirit is shifted in another direction, and sometimes that's how the spirit works. So what I'm gonna speak on today is this little post that I just posted now, and um, I've posted a few precepts under this post. And I'm going to go ahead and play this video and then I'm going to go ahead and read out the scriptures that I've posted and try to break them down and show you how it relates to this video, man. Because basically, in a nutshell, the kingdom of Esau, Edom, which is the so-called white man, has come to an end. You know, it hasn't come to a full end yet, but it's coming to an end and it's an absolutely beautiful thing to behold, all right, for us that are in the right spirit. So, <clears throat> without further ado, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and play this video, and Lord willing, you're edified. But all kidding aside, we've faced some pretty tough times in recent years. But America didn't give up. America never gives up. I've said it a thousand times. There's no quit in America. No quit. But you hear from our friends on the other side, the MAGA Republicans, what's wrong with America? Everything's wrong with America. They keep telling us America's failing. Well, they're wrong. They're failing. America's not failing. America's winning. And there's one reason for it. You, all you people, get up every single morning and go out to try to do the right thing. You, the American people, you're the one with a grit and determination, not me or your elected officials. You. Whatever we've set our mind to as a country, we've always accomplished. We've never failed. Not a joke. Think about it. Name me one objective America set that they haven't been able to accomplish if we work together. Name one. And folks, that's not going to change. I've long said it's never been a good bet to bet against America. It's not a good bet today. America's best days are ahead of us, not behind us. And I can tell you, I know virtually every major world leader and know most of them pretty well. Every one of them is looking to us. Every single one of them. I can honestly say I've never been more optimistic about America's future. Never, never, never. We just remember who the hell we are. We're the United States of America. And there's no, this is for real. This isn't a campaign speech. This is for real. There's nothing, nothing beyond our capacity when we work together. Nothing, <laughs> nothing, nothing. <laughs> Folks. One of the reasons I'm so optimistic is we really are the most unique nation in the world. Uh -huh. All lies, man. All lies. You know, that's the pride of their heart. You know, they believe they're never going to be taken out of power, but the Lord is going to reprove them. Okay. And show them that they're not as mighty as they think they are. You know, they their glory days are over. I mean, you can see it in his eyes. What you witnessed there was just a motivational speech, basically. It was just to hype up the crowd, man. Joe Biden is like a uh, an old, decrepit hype man. You know what I mean? 
damn cheerleader for Babylon the Great. You know, it's about time America receives its judgment. You know, why would you want America to continue so that wickedness can keep continuing in the earth? You know, they fund the CIA and the drug cartels and all that. They're, they're, you know what I mean? America is the most crooked nation on the planet. The creator of the porn industry, which has destroyed a lot of families, you know, it's even uh, ruined, you know, a relationship between me and my son. You know what I'm saying? Like, and this is on a personal note, you know, I've had a lot of issues dealing with the porn industry in my personal life, you know. It's just, you know, America's wicked to the core and life will never be uh, beautiful until America is destroyed, which is why the Lord is going to avenge us Israelites. Okay, us that cleave to the true God of Israel, Yahweh, why Yahweh shy in these end times. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to read um, <clears throat> what I got here. It says, they will lie until their missiles fly. And that's true. You know, they're never going to tell you the truth. They're always going to say America's going to build back better, make America great again. All these leaders, man, you know, and all these patriotic devils that don't lean toward our Lord Yahweh Shai, which ain't their Lord anyway, but they don't, they none of them lead toward the truth, you know, which is biblical prophecy that they won't. But they're relying on Trump to be their savior. And they're going to be sadly disappointed, okay? Because Trump ain't coming back to save you devils, man, okay? The only thing you can do is accept the fact that Yasha Allah, the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, are the real rulers of this earth. And when the Lord puts us back in order in our, and puts everything back in its right order and puts us on top where we were always meant to be, the world will never see peace. Your people, you, I'm talking personally to any Edomite that might be watching this video, but your people, you so-called white people, your people have single-handedly destroyed this earth, man. Okay, whether you want to believe it or not, hey, who's the rulers of this earth? You all know that you rule the earth. You know that your people are the manager. Job 9.24 says the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. So you got to ask yourself who's ruling the earth right now? Who has their central banks all over the earth? Who was able to place their uh, their <clears throat> their um, military bases all over the earth? Who are the ones that create the most nuclear missiles in the earth? It's you so-called white people. You're the destroyers, destroyers of this earth. Okay, and you wasn't going to get away with it forever. You know, balance has to be restored. And divine intervention will happen to take you people out of power. So that this world can have rest. All right. So this is the book of Psalms, chapter 58, verse 3. It says, The wicked, which is a so-called white man, pursuant to Job 9, 24, Malachi 1 and 4. Okay. It says, The wicked are estranged from the womb, meaning they'll never know the right way of life ever since they come out the womb, you know. You know, and also representation of how they came when they first came into power, you know. So ever since they came into power, they've always been estranged. They've never known the right way. It says they go astray as soon as they be born, meaning as soon as they came into power, speaking lies. That's all they do. They're the ones that were released from the bottomless pit and, and went out to deceive the nations for a short season. If, if For those that somewhat understand the scriptures, you know, you might have raised up in Christianity and understand that the devil was chained up for a thousand years. That's talking about Esau. That's a past prophecy, okay? So Esau came into power, you know, after the Dark Ages and went out to deceive the nations. He's told everybody that our Lord Yahweh Shai's name was Jesus and that he was a so-called white man and that we're not the real Israelites, you know, and many other deceptions, but they've deceived the, the whole world into thinking that they're righteous when they're actually the wicked. They're the biblical Edomites. Okay, so all they do is lie, just like this creep, sleepy, creepy, dementia Joe right here. Okay, let me just read this preset while I'm at it. America never gives up. Okay, it says, the, but the eyes of the wicked shall fail. They shall not escape. 
and their hope shall be as the giving up of the ghost. And that's the book of Job 11 and 20. Okay, KJV. So the eyes of the wicked shall fail, meaning the hope, you know, their optimism. They know that it's over for them, okay? The eyes of the wicked shall fail, and they shall not escape, meaning there's nothing they can do to bounce back from this. And their hope shall be as the giving up of the ghost, okay? Their hope is going to disappear, man. Their hope is going to die, okay? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 49 and verse 11. It says, their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. Okay, so who is this there that it's talking about when it says their inward thought? Okay, this there is talking about the nation of Edom, starting with the elites of the nation of Edom. Okay, you're the Rothschilds, you're Rock, uh, DuPonts, Gettys and all them. You know, they're the rulers of the earth, the banking families, the bankers and stuff, you know, the so-called white man, in other words. OK, but the elites this is mainly talking about the elites, you know, it's talking about their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. They always think they're going to rule. OK, so, and these average Edomites that don't really know what's going on. Trump supporting devils, man, he's patriotic Edomites, man, you know. That hope in America, they love America, you know, they love wickedness. It says their inward thought is that their houses, meaning their rulership, is going to continue forever, you know, and their dwelling places, you know, in another word for their houses, you know, they think that their, their position in this world, it says, and their dwelling places to all generations, meaning they think that they're never going to come out of power, okay? And this part right here is a bit separate. It says they call their lands after their own names. And that's giving you a hint as to who this is talking about. So this, so Africa used to be called the land of Ham. And because that's where the Hamites reside. Uh, uh, you know, the Hamites are the Africans. You know, to, the biblical name for the Hamites is... The biblical name for the Africans is Hamites, Salakia. Okay, but before it was uh, called Africa, it was called the land of Ham. But the reason it's called Africa is because it was um, conquered by a man named Leo Scipio Africanus, who was a Roman general, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not too, uh, I'm not amazing at history. Let's just put it that way. It's not my strong suit. But, um... Yeah, you know, these Edomites, they conquer land and then they name that land after their self, man. You know, America, for instance, it used to be called um, Turtle Island, you know, when it was inhabited by the so-called Native, I mean, the Native Americans, not so-called. They, the, they are the Native Americans, but they're actually the tribe of Gad, okay, which are biblical Israelites also. They are our brothers. Okay, according to the Bible. But point being that, you know, America was conquered and named after a man named Amerigo Vespucci, if I've pronounced that correct. Okay, so you can look these things up, but they call their lands after their own names. This gives you a hint as to who it's talking about. It's talking about the so-called white man. All right, so their inward thought is that their houses, their rulership is going to continue forever because they're that's the pride of their heart they're a proud nation of people it says here in the book of obadiah one and three and keep in mind the book of Ob the whole book of obadiah is dedicated to the edomite it lets you know about their judgment that they're getting ready to receive as a nation just like us so-called blacks latinos and native americans received our judgment as a nation and were put on the bottom of society now it's their turn and they don't believe it, though, because like, like this scripture says, the pride of thine heart has deceived thee, okay, that America's going to bounce back or that they're not going into slavery after this World War Three, because a great portion of these Edomites are going to kill themselves, man, in this World War Three when it reaches its peak. So they're going to be depopulated and then they're going to be controlled just like they planned for us. The Lord is going to make that come back on their own head. 
Okay, it says, The pride of thine heart has deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, because that's where they came from, Petra. It says, Whose habitation is high. You know, they're living in the high places in the earth because Esau was given the fatness of the earth, pursuant to the book of Genesis 25 and verse 40, I believe. Okay around that area at least it's it's definitely close so it says um or it could be 20 i believe it's 27 and 40 so like here so it says whose habitation is high that saith in his heart meaning his mind they say to themselves who shall bring me down to the ground they think they're invincible man they think they can't be touched because they're ruling the earth and they're celebrating at the fact that so-called blacks are trodden down putting ghettos and they're at the bottom and treated like crap. You know what I mean? They they don't care about our oppression. And they think that, you know, this because they're at the top and we're at the bottom, when they know deep down we're a stronger nation than them. You know, they know deep down that we're more talented and more gifted spiritually than them. We're richer in spirit than these people, man. Okay, but they celebrate the fact that they're at the top and we're at the bottom. It says, who shall bring me down to the ground? That's what they say in their heart. Who's going to stop me? Who's going who's gonna to take us out of power? Because when well, I've experienced it many times when I've let Edomites know you're getting ready to go into captivity. Or the first thing they say is, who's going to stop me? Who, who's going to do that? You and what army? <laughs> All right, cool. Keep that same energy. You're about to find out what army, man. Your hour of hosts is coming to deliver us, okay, and to put us above you devils, man. All right? Uh, uh, the brother just commented that that's the same brother who, who actually originally posted that video on TikTok. I'll check that in a minute. But it says in Jeremiah 51 and 25, Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain, which the... Uh, Destroying mountain, saith Yahweh, which destroyest all the earth. Okay, and that destroying mountain is not an actual mountain. Okay, you gotta understand this is written in dark sands and and parables and stuff like that and similes. Okay, but it's only for the uh, the the hopeful elect to understand. Okay, it says, "Behold, I am against thee." So the Most High is against the nation of Edom, that destroying mountain. Say if Yahweh, which destroyest all the earth. Okay, they're the reason the world is so jacked up because all this wickedness is happening on their watch. They could click their fingers and stop child trafficking really quickly, but they won't because it's big business for them because they're wicked, you know? It says, and I will stretch out mine hand upon thee and roll thee down from the rocks and will make thee a burnt mountain. Because it says above here in Obadiah 1 and 3, Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. Because they came from the caves, they're the original caveman. But they teach you in their public school system, which is funded and created by the Rockefeller Foundation, which is the elites of nation, the nation of Edom. You know, they teach you that we all came from cavemen, which is a damn lie. You're the only devils that came from cavemen. None of us were cavemen. You were cavemen. Okay? That's a lie. That's another deception that they've pushed out on the world, that the whole world has believed in. It says, Which destroyeth all the earth, and I will stretch out mine hand upon thee, and make thee a burnt, and roll thee down from the rocks, and will make thee a burnt mountain. So the Lord is getting ready to nuke these devils. And that's how they're going to be taken out of power and slapped in chains where they belong. Okay, because they have to be put into sub, uh, submission. They have to be put under our foot in order for this world to ever see peace. It's the only way, okay? Regardless of how hateful it sounds, it's the only way to fix this mess that's been made. They've, gone, they've taken it too far. This world is too far gone. Jeremiah 51 and 9, it says, We would have healed Babylon, talking about America, but she is not healed. So had... America, you know, change their ways and live righteously, then the Lord would have healed Babylon, healed America. But they won't. They're still holding that on to that evil pride of theirs. So the Lord says, forsake her, the daughter of Babylon, her, meaning uh, being her. You know, that's the her it's saying, that's, that's talking about. 
So it says forsake her, all right? So let go of any hope of America bouncing back. It says, and let us go every one into his own country, okay? So it would be wise for you to flee out of that land. Although the elect are going to be delivered, even if they're still in that land, it's fine. It says, for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. You know, the Lord is getting ready to judge America. That judgment is coming, okay? It says, um, you know, that's because they've done so much wickedness that it's reached up to, you know, the Lord, it's caught the Lord's attention. And the Lord is all, you know, the Lord is about to destroy America, okay? Because it's just gone too far, like I said. So this is Psalms, um, it's the book of Psalms 7 and 14 through 16. It says, Behold, he travaileth with iniquity, you know, which iniquity means sin upon sin. So this is what they push in the world, LGBTQ, NMNLP, HIV, you know, all them letters, which is a bunch of damn confusion, okay? Um, GMO crops, chemtrails, artificial wombs man the list goes on just so much stuff you know changing the dna of, of people through their poison and their deception you know the creating of biological weapons and releasing it on the public experimenting on so-called black people you know the way they've mistreated so-called black people in this earth mainly black so-called blacks because they're of the tribe of judah and Benjamin and Levi. So I'm going to read that from the top again. Behold, he travaileth with iniquity and have conceived mischief. You know, he brought forth mischief, man, wickedness. And have brought forth falsehood. You know, the media, the mainstream media is nothing but falsehood. Controlled by the same devils that are parading themselves around in our land. Claiming to be us, the real J-E-W-S's. And I have to spell it out. Because if I say it, his algorithm will take this video right down. Okay. So, you know, you're not allowed to speak about them because it's the biggest, biggest secret known to mankind. It's the, it's the number one thing they don't want you knowing. Okay. Read Psalms 83. And it says how they're, conf they're all confederate against us. They, they want to take the name of Israel from out of existence in this earth you know what i mean but it's coming back through the spirit and power yahweh bahasham yahweh okay verse 15 he made a pit and digged it and it's fallen into the ditch which he made you know they created these nuclear missiles they sold these weapons and guns and 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 ammo and stuff to they they profited off a of war and now it's coming back to bite them in the ass because those same nukes they created are going to come down on their own damn head all right, and it's going to mention that in verse 16. It says, His mischief shall return upon his own head, and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pate. You know, and the pate is like the back of your head. Okay. So, you know, what they've done in this earth is going to come back to bite them in the ass, in other words. You know, karma, let's just say. And they've done a whole lot more than just create nuclear weapons and destabilize countries. But everything that they've done in the earth is getting ready to come back on them really hard. And they're going to have one hell of a fall. Hence the reason why the scriptures say that I beheld Satan fall as lightning from earth. This is how fast they're going to fall. When it talks about Satan, it's saying them. These devils, okay? The Edomites. It's not always talking about the spiritual demon Satan. All right? These are the children of Satan. We're Yasha Allah, Prince of the Power. Okay, children of the most high, in other words, all right? Let me just quickly check these comments. The brother here commented eight minutes ago. Joe sneaked this in the prophets. They fail in. Hey, yo. <laughs> that's it, that's it. That's right. He is, you know, they think they're slick in their ways, man. Sneak this in the prophets. You can't touch the prophets, man. You can't touch the Lord's anointing ones. Oh, boy, it says big lies. That reptile is full of shit. Babylon is due for destruction. 
Babylon is due for destruction. These sheep liberals going to eat this right up too. That's right, you know. These people that trust in America, they're going to eat it up. You heard him clapping in the video after that fake ass speech, man. You know. And I said, good, let them. <laughs> let them eat it up. And this brother here posted a few scriptures. The wicked are strange from the womb. They go strange as soon as they be born, speaking lies. That's the one I just bought out, Psalms 58 and 3. Sirach 12 and 6. It says, for the most high hate of sinners, which is true. God ain't all love. He don't just love everybody. And Christians have no understanding of the Bible and prophecy. They say that God, God hates the sin. He loves the sinner. Don't know what the hell they're talking about. What does it say right here in the word of God? It, word of the most high, should I say? It says, for the most high hate of sinners. He hates sinners, okay? It says, and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly and keepeth them against the mighty day of their punishment. That's it. So he's keeping them in power so that he can bring them down like he did Pharaoh. You know, he made a Pharaoh's heart hard. And until this day, he destroyed Pharaoh hard, brought him out of power really hard. And that's the same thing that's going to happen with Esau and Edom. Okay? It's because they're, the, they're also known as the ungodly. Okay? They don't worship the Lord. You know, they they easily pack up in the Christian church and worship the white Jesus, which is a false god, because he looks like them, but they will never bow their knee to Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Okay? Because they're devils, they're ungodly, man. So I'm going to read that one more time. Sirach 12 and 6. For the most high hate of sinners and, he, and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly, the so-called white man, and anyone that follows after them. Okay? And keepeth them against the mighty day of their punishment. Okay? It says, never trust thine enemy, which is the so-called white man, when he tells you that America is going to be great again and all that malarkey. Never trust your enemy, okay? And the Bible says that the so-called white man is our enemy, pursuing to the book of um, Psalms 83, uh, Malachi 1 and 4, and Job 9, 24, in the KJV, okay? All the other translations, they twist scripture too much, and they, they you know, it's, it's way off. You know, you're safest with the KJV, okay? That's what the prophets of these end times cleave to because it's the closest translation we got to the Greek and Hebrew tongue, okay? It's the least corrupted uh, translation, let's just say. All right, so... Um, Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusts, so is his wickedness. Okay, so Sirach 12 and 11, though he humble himself and go crouching, you know what I mean? Acting like he's a good guy, you know, acting like he's changed, acting like he cares about Africa or he cares about the so-called blacks, you know what I mean? It's all lies, man. Okay, it says, yet, it says, though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him, as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Okay, yep. That's right. That's right, good precepts. All right, so I think I'm going to leave it there. Um... Let me just see if I'm missing anything. Someone else might have commented. Nope, nope, we're good. Right, so I'm going to leave it there. Um, Lord willing, you were edified through this lesson. <laughs> Dude said, F out of here. It's a rap oil head. Oh, old head. Old head. <laughs> God. Yep, that's right. It's a wrap for these devils, man. All right, so Lord willing, you were edified through this lesson. I'm going to close it out, give all honor, praise, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwidash. All right, Shalom, Yasha'Allah.